Hey Kiss Divas, it's Tracy and I am back with another hair discussion. But I wanted to come to you because I, was, I wasn't actually going to do any more videos today. But I was going through a few of my emails and I had a few young ladies email me about relaxer steps and etc. And I will be emailing them back today. But first I do want to say that if you go to my channel and you see my email, it says business inquiries, business emails only. Please do not send me emails unless it's business related or leave a message on my blog. But do not email me on the email address I have set up for business. This is though I wanted to discuss and I thought it was a good time to do a relaxer discussion because I'm actually going to relax my hair either tonight or in the morning. And right now, I think my last relaxer was November 23rd or 24th. So I think that makes me like 12 to 13 weeks. I'm guessing I haven't actually counted. One of the young ladies that was contacting me about relaxing wanted to know basic steps of what I do when I relax. And I will explain to you right now. But I want to say, if you go to my blog and you go to the search button and you push relaxer or relaxer day or anything like that, you're going to get tons of blogs where I have literally took step by step by step by step of the process that I do when I relax my hair and so I can't keep answering the same things over and over and over again so please do not in any way think that I am rude when I send you a link or tell you to go to my blog because the answer is there and the way I've written everything out is so easy for you to understand it's all on my site it's all on my blog so you know do a little research first because At one point in my hair journey, I did do the long stretches, but I don't feel the need to do it anymore. And yes, I'm saying relax because I am tech flax and tech flax hair is what? Relaxed hair. So please don't send me the question and say, oh, you don't tech flax anymore. Yes, I'm relaxed. And people that use a texturizer is not tech flax. They are texturized. Tech flax come from a term for relaxed ladies that don't relax their hair bone straight so if you are using a texturizer you have a texturizer you are not Texlax. Texlax is just a relax relaxer i also get questions about how long do you leave it on what is your process i have coarse thick hair and if you look at a, any relaxer box whether it's lie or no lie and you read it it will say fine thin hair such a second minutes medium coarse hair Course, da, da, da. So that has a lot to do with how long you leave your relaxer on, not to mention the porosity in your hair. So just because I leave my relaxer on 12 minutes to text lax, 12 minutes can make somebody's hair bone straight. So, I mean, I don't really get into that. It's something that you have to watch as your hair process. And when it gets to the point that you want it, then that's when you rinse your hair and start the next process. Also, there are a lot of ways to text lax. You got people that mix oils in there relaxers mix um, amino acids in their relaxers I don't do that I just keep it plain and simple and just cut the processing time I don't mix anything in it I don't know if you remember but in November I did switch from a no lie to a lie relaxer there are I did do a blog so I will post the blog link at the bottom but there is a difference between the two um, you have benefits and you have negatives on each end so you kind of have to weigh the balance um, with the no lie relaxers, it's kind of a little more softer on the scalp. It doesn't mean that it's softer on the hair, but it just will not burn um, as much. So right now, I'm using the no lie. I just switched over. I'm using the Oars no lie relaxer. Before that, I used the Oars lie. To the process, what I do. The first thing that I do to prep for my relaxer is I do a protein treatment one week before my relaxer. During that week before my relaxer, I make sure that I am not doing any real manipulation styles. That I'm leaving my scalp alone so when I do relax my hair, it's not going to um, burn or anything like that. I usually do the 3 minute Alpha G Reconstructor. So if your hair is a little bit on the damaged side, you can 2 weeks before do a hardcore protein if that's what you want to do. But usually the 3 minute or the 2 minute whatever it's called works great for me for sure, relaxer day I section my hair in four sections I base my scalp and all that 
especially with the lie relaxer with the no lie I really don't take the time to best base my scalp but what I do is I take conditioner at the ends of my hair or a silicone based product like a hair serum or something like that and put it on the length of my hair and what that does is it actually kind of protects my hair from overlapping and you know double processing my hair basically so I, the processing time is over I rinse my relaxer completely out I make sure there is no relaxer seen on my scalp in my hair or whatever and the next step that I do before I neutralize is use my Alpha G two minute reconstructor and the reason why I do that is because when you relax your hair it's stripping your hair of protein so I put some of the protein back in it so it won't damage my hair so I put that on not with the heating cap just for two minutes while I'm at the sink rinse it out and then I neutralize my hair now you have to use a neutralizing shampoo when you relax your hair that's just the bottom line you have to neutralize because a regular shampoo is going to leave relaxer residue and it's still and it's going to leave your pH balance off so your hair is still going to be processing and it will fall off and it will break I've seen people and pictures of people that went bald because they did not neutralize after relax after that I go ahead and deep condition and that is all I do I if I have something going on like it's Valentine's Day I'll go ahead and blow dry and fly my hair if not I uh, air dry in a braid out or in or air dry and then slip it in a bun so I can go to the gym the next day and that's another question I get how long do I have to wait to go to the gym when I relax my hair you can go right after there's no wait time relaxers don't revert if it reverted when it got wet is because that's how long you processed it for. It was not fully processed. You were check slacks, as we would say. But a relaxer doesn't revert. If it did, people wouldn't have to big chop. People wouldn't have to transition. They would just let it revert back to natural. And that doesn't happen. So if you relax your hair, you can go to the gym that day. You can go that night. You can wash your hair. That I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not going to revert. So... Basically, that is what I do in a nutshell. If you have any other questions as far as, you know, relaxing your hair or anything like that, leave it below because I will definitely be doing more of the hair discussions for you guys. God bless you and I will see you on Kiss.